dick. She on the phone like, yeah, I'll hit this come now. I'm about to beat this hoe ass. Y'all need to pull up right now. I'm about to beat this hoe. Y'all need to pull up. I'm like... What is up you guys? It's your girl Unique the Iconic and honey we're back here with another video for you all today. Today's video is going to be featuring a story time with me about my freshman year in college and how my roommate stole from me. But anyways you guys make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and also give me a comment Let me know if y'all want more videos like this and thank you guys for everyone who has been supporting me thus far Trust me your love does not go unnoticed. I thank y'all for supporting me. I do this for y'all I love y'all. But anyways, stay tuned and watch the rest of this video All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, um, I went to an HBCU I really don't think it matters if y'all know the name or not, honestly. But yeah, I went to HBCU and I stayed like three, four hours away from my school. And uh, my roommate was actually from the the small town that I went to school in. So me and her had kind of like two totally different uh, lives when it came down to like as far as how our lifestyles were. You know, I came from the city and she's in a small town. So, you know, they're used to different types of things. But other than that, you know, me and her, we really, really did mesh well as far as relationship wise. I felt like we honestly had a sort of genuine relationship before all of that had happened. You know, not many girls um, really get to have that type of bond with their roommates, you know, if I'm not mistaken. So I was fortunate, fortunate enough to have that. But well, I thought I did. <laughs> but um, yeah, so. You know, when I came down to school for my freshman year, I brought everything, y'all. I brought all my shoes, all my clothes, all my bags, you know, all my flat irons, curling irons. You know, I honestly thought that I needed all of that down there with me, but I really didn't because I was going home like all the time. But um, yeah, so fast forwarding, it's winter break and I'm going home back to my hometown and she of course stays in that town so she went home to our house where parents house so um you know I kind of put everything up I'm like kind of hiding all my stuff that I'm not going to bring that are uh, more valuable I kind of just like hide it you know so that no one will go through it and like touch it and stuff or when the um the maids come in to clean our rooms you know they won't really you know be able to find it whatever so I came back, I actually came back earlier than her. She didn't come back till like two days later, I think. And yeah, like I was getting ready to get my hair done and I was looking for my flat iron. I'm looking for it and y'all, it's like a reptile pink with little sparkle glitter shit on it. Um, the glitter stuff like on the Chi type of flat iron. Like this is one of the like nice, nice Chi limited edition ones. So, you know, I go looking for it and I hid it like in my drawer, like underneath some stuff, y'all. Like I like I hid it purposely, purposefully. Th is that a word? <laughs> purposefully. I hid it on purpose in a certain particular spot that only I knew where it was and no one else did. So I look, it's not there. I'm like, did I bring my flower at home? Like I swear I thought I put it in this drawer. And mind you, it's not coming to my head that maybe my roommate stole it. You know, like me, like the relationship and the bond that we had, like I just would never suspect her of like ever taking anything that's mine. You know, like that's just, I wouldn't say me being naive, but I would just say me being more like, you know, I wouldn't try my friend like that. Like, you know, you wouldn't really try your friend like, oh yeah, my friend, that she took that. No, you would never think that because you consider that to be your friend, you know, like someone that you grew up bond with. Like, you would just never think that. But yeah, so like she comes back and I'm still looking for her. I'm like, I know I, I know I did not. I, I, call my, I call my grandma like, hey grandma, did I leave my flower at the, at the house? Like the pink one, the little pink one with the bedazzles on it. She said, uh-uh. Where I said, are you sure I did it? She said, yeah, I don't see it nowhere. She looked high and low for me. I'm like, you sure? She's like, girl, you better find that flower and that's an expensive flat iron. I'm like, I know that's an expensive flat iron. So yeah, anyways. I tell my roommate, I was like, I was like, have you seen my pink chief flat iron? She's like, oh, the one with the little reptile on it, the one that's like real, real nice. I say, yeah, girl, that one, you know, that one real, real nice. Uh, she's like, no, I ain't seen it. She said, you think one of the maids took it? 
And I was like, I mean, I don't really think they would go through the trouble to really look and dig through my drawers to, to find that. You know, like, that's a lot of work to be trying to go. If you don't know the person at all, you just going in a room and you're going to go dig all the way through the drawer. Like, that's a lot of work. But I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. I don't think they could have did that. I was like, nah, like, maybe I just misplaced it, but it just didn't feel right with me. So, about a week and a half passed, and my, um, my roommate ended up going out of town for something. I'm not sure what it was. I forgot, but she ended up going out of town, and I was just in my dorm room, and I just so happened to look at her desk, and I saw my bracelet. It was my Dior bracelet. I'm like, is that my bracelet? How the fuck my bracelet get over there? Now, mind y'all, we're in like a dormitory, the standard dormitory. There's no wall between us, no, none of that. It's literally the two beds on the side. Her desk was right here in front of her bed. My desk was right here um, behind my bed by the door. And we had our two cabinets with the TVs up there. I decide to look further. I go underneath her desk and I see like this pink PVC kind of clear bag. And I, Lord behold, I look and I see that it's my chief blood iron. And I'm like, I know this bitch did not. I know this bitch did not. I said, wow. So Shorty really lied in my face and told me that she didn't know anything about my flat iron. Or she was like, that's crazy. Like why? Like, oh, I don't know what, I don't know about that. Oh, damn, hopefully one of the maids probably took it. So, I take that shit. I walk out of the room and I and I go and I go and knock all on my RA door. My RA is like my resident assistant, the person that was over our floor. So, I had ended up uh, knocking on her door, I'm banging on her door like, hey, hey, hey. She's like, what's going on? I was like, man. I was like, my roommate, I just found my flat iron that I was looking for that she just stole from me in her, on her, inside of her, one of her purses in her bags underneath her desk. So she was like, so you just took it? I was like, of course I just took it. It's mine. So why would I not take it? And she's just like, oh, um, yeah, you can't, um, she's like, I mean, I understand that, you know, she probably did steal it, but being that you took it, you know, we can't really sit there and say that she stole it. She's like, maybe if you like would have took a picture, you would have came and got me before you took it out so I could see where it was, then we could work with that. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, why would I sit there and put that type of lie on her? So I'm like, whatever. So she's like, don't worry, we could just do like sort of like a meeting with all the RAs and stuff like that and with her so y'all can discuss it. So when she got back, she received a letter that stated that she had to report to a meeting in regards to the um to me allegedly saying that she stole my stuff. So she walks in the room. I'm getting ready to leave to go to class. She walks in the room. She's like, hey. I'm like, mm -hmm. hey, what's up? Yeah. So I ain't seen nothing else to her. I walked out the room, went about my day, went to class, came back. I'm walking inside of the building and I see her standing there. Yeah, she's on the phone and she's like, yeah, oh, here, this come walking in right now. She's like, oh, yeah, she walking in. Y'all might need to pull the up because I'm about to beat this whole ass. This is why I stole her. Y'all need to pull the up. And I'm like, who, who, who you, who you talking about? Who? So I get on the phone. I call my cousin. You know, I got two cousins that were going there to the school at the same time as me. So I call my cousin first. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, uh, sure they talk about some. She uh, trying to get her sisters to pull up to come fight me. And she like, who? You know, my cousin, she be on one, two, three, go. She don't waste no time. She pulled up real quick. She was like, who? So that's when the whole situation had to get de-escalated. Like, um, all, all the RAs had came in. It was like, okay, look, y'all need to go. Y'all need to calm all this down. So, um, me and her had to go into the meeting room with all the other RAs. And basically, we, we just said our piece. And she was going off on a whole rant. Like, I don't know why you think I would steal your stuff. We're too close for that. We're friends. Like, why you just didn't come to me? Blase, blase. And I was like, I did come to you. I asked you if you took my. She was like, as far as the bracelet, 
I don't know anything about that. That was found on the floor, and I just put it up there on my desk. You know, I really didn't think anything of it. I was like, I just put it up there, you know, and I forgot to give it back to you. I'm like, bitch, please. No, bitch. You could have put the goddamn desk, honestly. We're literally, like, we're less than, like, almost three feet apart. You could put the damn desk. But anyways, so... She goes off on this whole rant. So basically, they just came to the decision and said that, okay, you know what, you need, you can move out and go to another room down the hall. So y'all know y'all won't have to worry about this ever again. So I go upstairs. Now, mind you, they were not letting her go upstairs until I was done moving out my stuff. So she had to stay downstairs until I was done moving out my stuff. So I go up there. I'm moving all my stuff out. After I move everything out, I go back in the room to make sure I got everything and I just look at her side of the room and I'm like, let me make sure you got no more. So I go through all her shit. I'm like knocking her shit over. I'm pulling out her bin. I'm pulling out everything. Man, I found some of my handbags. I found another flat iron. What was my curling wand? I found some of my clothes, some of my shoes. And I'm like, the audacity. You are bold. So what I did was I took a picture of every single thing that I found within her room and I left it there. Now I know a lot of y'all probably thinking like, why would you leave that there? Like, why don't you just take your shit? The reason why I left it there was because I wanted that to be proven as evidence. So when they go and find it, they go and find it. So anyways, like I said, you guys, I went through all her stuff. I took the pictures and I made sure I got everything out. And then I went downstairs to get ready to go home. Cause like I said, I was getting ready to go home for my cousin's baby shower. I come back to school and that's when I go back to the RAs and I show them my, pr my proof. I'm like, yeah, I said, this is the, I found this in her room. I found this and I found this, da, 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 da. So then they're just like, okay, at this point, you know, you're going to have to go to the, uh, our um, campus police to file a report. So I go to the campus police. And I'm like, um, I got the report, some stuff missing, and I need my stuff. Because they can't go, the RAs were not able to go in the room actually and just like go through her stuff, but the campus police was able to. So I go there, I make the report and everything. I'm like, you know, telling them about it and stuff like that. So I'm, I think that she ended up getting like a letter or call from them saying that she had to come down. So I, I think that's what kind of happened with her. So eventually, you know, I blocked her phone number. I didn't want nothing to do with her, nothing. And she still had my Snapchat and I forgot about that. So she messaged me on Snapchat and she's just like, hey, you know, I'm sorry about everything going on. I just want to know if I'm able to talk to you. You know, I feel like I need to just tell my side of the story, you know, blase, blase. So I let her come in my room and I let her speak her piece, but I want to know about, I want to know where my because I wanted my stuff back so the whole time we were talking she didn't tell me what the fuck I want to hear I'm like where my she going on and on about our friendship talking about some oh I'm sorry about that I, I just don't feel like you know you should have just came to me you should have just told me about it I shouldn't have to come to you for nothing why would you take my stuff in the first place why would you do that you don't do that. Now, mind y'all, eventually, I'm sorry, let's fast forward back a little bit. When she came to talk to me, I ended up recording our whole conversation. Yeah, when she came and talked to me, I ended up recording our whole conversation when she was in my room. But like I said, eventually she got to the part to where she finally talked about my stuff. She was like, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but I actually, I got scared and I threw your stuff in the trash. Bitch, bitch, you threw five hundred dollars worth of stuff in the trash. In the trash, girl. Y'all, I was heated. I said, "Why would you throw my shit in the trash? Why would you do that?" She said, "I got scared. I didn't know." So, I just basically told her, like, I don't see us being friends no more. Like, you, you f that up. I don't, I don't f with you after that. I don't, I don't f with you at all. So. I ended up bringing that recording to the police, our campus police, and they ended up going ahead and doing an investigation. They basically said that, look, she's either, since she's saying that she threw your stuff away, she's going to have to pay up. So I had got all the receipts. 
list of everything that she took because honey my grandma keeps all the receipts and everything and I tallied it up to at least like $500 at the least I told her I said I want $500 for you to pay back for all my stuff that you threw in the trash and the police gave her that and apparently she didn't have $500 and she had to pay that now in college y'all college is a whole different story that will go on to your um as far as your um I think like balance due or something like that. I don't know how that really worked for her, but that that she had to pay that money up because if she didn't pay that money up, then apparently she was not gonna be able to finish school at um at our school. So I guess after she found out about that, she sent me a whole other message on Snapchat, Snapchat talking about some I should have knew you were knew you was recording me. Da 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 da. Like that's real low. Like I really else with you. Why would you do that? Da da da. And I just ignore her. I'm like, I'm not talking to you no more. Like, I don't want to hear none of that that you saying. None of that that you say, baby. Pay the F up. Give me my shmoney. So, miraculously, all my stuff turned up. So apparently she goes to the police, the campus police, and she goes and she tells them that, yeah, I just hid it at my mom's house, da 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 She gave me my stuff back and I got my stuff. And ever since then, I never talked to her ever the F again. So after all of that, you guys, like I said, our dormitory was kind of like an old school. So we had a, commu uh, a communion, community bathroom. And I would... Of course, we stayed, we still stayed on the same floor, so I would bump into her all the time in the bathroom, and I would just be like, bitch, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. She used to always try to chuckle and laugh and hee-hee and shit like that. Like, like she was trying to, like, start some shit. I'm like, bitch, I'm not worried about you. You the one that got caught, boo-boo. You got caught. You got caught. So, fast forwarding, y'all, it's the summer and shit like that. And it's like getting towards my birthday and stuff. And she's like, hey, you need, I just wanted to reach out. She reached out to me on Snapchat. She was like, yeah, I want to reach out. And I just want to say like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, da, 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 da. I really feel like I should make it up to you. You know, I really considered you a friend. And, I, you know, I didn't mean any of that. Um, I ain't hearing none of that, boo-boo. I'm not hearing none of that. I didn't block her on Snapchat because I wanted her to see me doing good. I want her to see me being happy and unbothered and unpressed by her. Like, no, it's the principle. You stole from me and then really sat there, lied to my face. What, what made you think it's okay to steal from me? It's not. It's not. It's not, sweetie, but...